today, hair everywhere. Okay, let's go. Today I'm jumping on the trend train. I'm so excited. Today I'm gonna be copying a Nikki Tutorials makeup tutorial. So I'm not a makeup person, guru, whatever you wanna call it. But I do have a lot of makeup. Most of it's hand-me-downs or it's all stuff that brands have sent me. Like, I have not bought half of this stuff. So that's why I thought, you know, I might as well use this makeup to good use and do this video. So I wear about one percentage of the makeup that Nikki wears, so I am not nearly as talented as her. She is an amazing makeup artist. The tutorial I'm going to be following is from a Valentine's Day themed, but by the thumbnail it looks really pretty and kind of simple. So we're just going to go with it. I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know. I do have false eyelashes ready because I'm pretty sure she has false lashes on. So I'm really excited every YouTuber has done this, so I'm not wearing any makeup right now, and let's just get straight on with it. Also, another thing is I'm probably not going to have all of the products she has, so if she, if I'm not using the exact same thing as her, don't attack me. I'm sorry. I just don't have as much stuff that she does. I've also never used screen record before, so we'll see how this works. I really hope the screen recording works. My anti-Valentine's Day look on Sunday. I thought it would only be fitting to also do a tutorial elf. This right here is called the Prep and Hydrate Balm. And okay, I'm so primer. Bit dry, so. Gosh, so I'm gonna use this. Wait, I'm already confused. Okay, so I guess primer. So this is my primer. I don't have an e.l.f. one, but this one's from Tarte. It's a poreless, mat poreless mattifying primer. So I'm just gonna put this on. Well, let's see. Let's see what she does with it. To lift my skin up. Now, I've personally never tried this, so. So. Oh, it smells oh. really nice. So that was the first step, primer. Hers was like a stick, though. Before I go in with any foundation or concealer, I need to prep my under eyes using the Pure Identity. Is that another primer? Okay, please pause. <laughs> I don't know. So she's using another primer, so I guess I'll just use a different one. She's doing it on her under eye. Wait. I love this stuff. <laughs> Same. For foundation today, I'm gonna make a mixture. Wait, stop! Ah, I'm not ready. We'll cover, okay, so. so she's doing foundation next. I'm just gonna do my normal foundation because I don't have the one she has. But I guess I can try to do a mixture. So I have two foundations. I guess I can mix them since she's mixing hers. Actually, no, I think I'm just gonna do this one. Foundation I'm gonna use is the same one I always use, the Hydro Neutrogenia Hydro Boost. So she's just putting it on. Got my beauty it's blender not here. Mine isn't is very. My foundation isn't super coverage, so I might have to do like another layer. Another layer to coverage up this baby. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with this. Oh, wait, okay, let me blend this and then concealer. Okay, so far so good. Like I know how to put on foundation. I've got my concealer from Too Faced. She got some under eyes going on. Well, she puts a lot of concealer on. Blend. Okay, I don't have prime. What the? How are her eyebrows done? Wait, wait, wait. Go back five seconds. Her eyebrows are not done in that part. Skip forward. Now her eyebrows are done. What the heck? Okay, well, before I don't prime my eyelids because I don't have primer, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, I guess. So I have never really, I've done eyebrows like twice, but it's not a natural thing for me. So I'm gonna use just the uh, this brow kit that I have. Don't know how this works, but I do have an angled brush. So let's see if we can do my brows. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. I don't know which color I should use. I think I'm gonna use the darker one. That always annoys me so much when people don't show how they do their eyebrows, and I'm like, how do you get that so on fleek? Those are like totally opposite colors. My eyebrows are like gray. I think that's good. Oh my gosh, I look so different. I guess that's brows done. They look so dark. I guess that's brows done. So then the next step that Nikki is doing is priming her eyelids, and I'm not gonna do that because I don't have power. Good. First, I'm gonna go to this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette called Mad for Matte. Okay. So she has a bunch of pink colors, so I'm gonna be using this palette because there's some pinks 
and some peaches down there. And then if I need to, I've got this palette. This is from It's My Ray Ray. So that's a purpley. So outer corner and crease. It needs to be a purpley color. <gasps> I have like the perfect shade. So little by little, start building that crease up. And remember, yes. perfect blend. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. Once you got that outer corner and crease down, you take whatever is left in the brush and swoop it towards the inner portion of your crease. Okay. This will remain it from getting too harsh because there's barely any product left. But this will give you the definition that you left. Okay, so that's like a nudie a nudie pinky color so let's see what we've got that's pretty similar that color down here okay let's go with that but mine's shimmery i have that brush what the heck i didn't even know okay so this applies all over the lid okay let's see how that works this actually looks really pretty though i like this color now picking that crease color up on a pencil brush and smoking out the lower lash line soft. Oh my. This eyeshadow is so confusing. This is the closest I have to what she has as far as brushes go. I think she's using the color back from this palette. <laughs> it goes too deep on there. Hey, that's actually good. I like that. Oh, ooh, girl, I like that. Okay. Touch, I'm highlighting my inner corner using a light matte shade. Fun. I have a shimmery highlight color that I can put in my inner corners too. Oh, okay, now she's putting white oh, in her gosh, waterline. Like... I'm not going to do that because I want to be safe. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to do the other eye. But look at that. I have both eyes done. I think they look so good and I haven't even noticed the brows. Like so far, this is going amazing. But next is false lashes, so can't really say too much. So my screen recording thing is like not working. I've never done it before. And my mom's computer, it's just not really working. So I'm just going to have to put her video in the corner. So if it doesn't match up perfectly or it just looks wrong, I'm sorry. So for her lashes, she's using... Her lashes, I'll be using just very soft and natural ones called Gaia by okay. Certified. So hers, oh, she's just applying them. Okay, so there's no tutorial. So I need tweezers. I got these lashes, Kiss Lash. They're just random ones from Kroger. And then I've got my glue. So I've never done this before, ever. I've never done lashes. She isn't cutting hers or anything. I've got my tweezers to apply them. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So there's no tutorial part. So I'm just gonna pause the video for a while and just apply these because she doesn't give any explanation on how to do them. If I manage to make it look good, it'll be like the saving grace. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm applying the glue. Okay, applying the glue. That was too thick. I don't know how long I've waited. This is so stressful. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm trying to get it straight. It worked. <laughs> Oh my gosh! The only thing is that there's too, mu too much glue in the inner corner. I put on the lashes! <laughs> you can see the glue. <laughs> I look so weird! Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. So, this is what it looks like. Definitely feel like I did the best of my ability. To it, let's just move on. The only thing is the inner, the inner corners need to go down, whereas they're just kind of a line but I will get better. Okay, so she doesn't say it, but next she's applying um, mascara to her lower lashes. Honestly, these eyelashes I feel like aren't too bad. They're heavy though, it feels weird. Oh, now, phew. I love my cheeks. contouring, so I'm me still gonna contour and make my cheeks pop. So she let me get my blush out. So she's doing her contour. I feel like these beauty gurus expect us to be good at makeup. I don't know how to contour very well. I mean, I guess I have a pretty good idea. So I'm going to contour using my Tarte bronzer. For blush, I definitely want a pop of cheek. I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever Sculpting Blush. And then after contour, that looks good. Blush. And for highlighter. Again, she's not saying anything like, I know how to apply blush, of course, but still, I feel like she should say, you apply br blush here. Like, not all of us are really good at makeup, just saying. So, I'm just taking this Tarte blush. I don't really wear blush, but 
it's a part of the step and this was created for Valentine's Day like I said in the intro so it's supposed to be like rosy highlights so next is highlights she's putting it right here um, I'm gonna be using my Tarte exposed highlight this one is my favorite I recently got Da -da 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 -da, a fan brush, which is really exciting, and I have yet to use it. So today will be the first time to use it on my highlight. So here we go. Okay, so it's definitely oh, yes, a softer, like glow from within look. Mine's which, not for this look because it is not. <gasps> okay, so she's doing her other side, and then I'm guessing nose. For a little spritz of setting spray to melt everything together. Setting spray. And seamless and flawless. And today I'm going to go in with the Milani. What about lipstick? Okay, so I guess setting spray. My setting spray is this Urban Decay one. Ready? Ready? Let's recreate it. <laughs> I have setting spray all over my body. I'm going to use a liquid lipstick that isn't going to budge. Okay. I'm going to go in with the Ofra Lip. Next is a lip liquid lipstick. So I have a Tarte liquid lip paint. Um, this is a dark red. Hers is more of a fun red. This lip color is too too intense. I have a bright red that I can put over this. I did my lipstick. There's a few mess ups. A little smudge at the top, but let's see the next step. Honestly, actually, I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, that guys concludes this classic, romantic... That's it! Oh my gosh! It's over? The challenge is over. Okay, phew. Okay, let's be real. I did not do too bad. Let's look at ourselves. Oh. Work it! Oh my gosh! <gasps> This is good! The only thing that is not good is the inner corners of the lashes. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Nikki. Comment down below if you think I did good or not. Honestly, I think I did pretty good. Like, I love the blending. Totally gonna do this look again. It's so fun. It was so fun to try out the lashes. You guys should totally try and do these lashes again. And I will see you guys next week.